Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has recently announced a couple of new features that are beginning to roll out to Copilot, Bing Chat, and Edge's Copilot, which is found in the sidebar and the side panel, as many of you will know. Now, Microsoft says that these new features are rolling out to celebrate the first year of Microsoft Copilot. Hard to believe that we already have had more or less one year of Copilot. But nonetheless, um, there are five new features that are beginning to roll out. And some of these are still coming in the coming weeks. And some of these have already made their way into Copilot. So just take note of that. Now, the first new feature out of five, I'm just going to mention because it's still um, rolling out to a small subset of users, is GPT-4 Turbo where Copilot Microsoft says will be able to generate responses using OpenAI's latest model, GPT-4 Turbo, that enables you to tackle more complex and longer tasks, they say, such as writing code and more. Um, and as mentioned, they say this model is currently in testing with select users. So it's currently been tested with a limited subset and AB tested with a limited subset of users and will be widely integrated into Copilot in the coming weeks. So GPT-4 Turbo is coming soon to Copilot. Then the second um, new feature has already arrived uh, in Copilot and it's a new DAL E3 model to help you generate a higher quality and more accurate um, images and I asked before posting I asked Copilot to generate an image of a dragon so while that responds Microsoft says you can now use Copilot to create images that are even higher quality and more accurate to the prompt with an updated DAL E3 model now although the images are of a higher quality and more accurate I have noticed though that it does take a quite a lot longer to respond to generate and create the image so we get in better um, images and higher quality images as you can see but I do find though that it does take a little bit longer to generate that response so there is a little bit of give and take when it comes to the new DAL E3 model that has now rolled out then moving on to the third new feature and this is multi-modal with search grounding where Microsoft say they are combining the power of GPT-4 with vision with Bing image search and web search data to deliver better image understanding for your queries but this is one of those features though that will be available soon so this hasn't rolled out yet but to give us a general idea i'm going to head over to a gif provided from this announcement which will give us a better understanding of multimodal with search grounding now microsoft says regarding this feature a traditional multimodal system would be able to describe what's in the image in a generic way but with search grounding as we can see um, we are able to identify the exact shuttle and the day it was launched. So there we go. That's a picture of an image of a shuttle and um, that chatbot now and the AI can now identify the exact shuttle and the day it was launched. So that's um, multimodal with search grounding, which I actually think is a nice move in the right direction if you are using Copilot. And then another new feature that's coming soon so once again we're going to head over to another image provided is a code interpreter where they are developing a new capability that will enable you to perform complex tasks microsoft says such as more accurate calculation coding data analysis visualization math and more microsoft says they are gathering feedback on these capabilities from a select set of users so once again been uh, tested with a small subset of users and plan to make it widely available soon so that's still on its way and then the next one um, is video understanding and question and answers in Copilot in Edge. So that's using Edge's Copilot. And this is very similar to a feature I posted on a couple of days ago, which uh, is similar to Google Bard's AR, which is obviously Google's AR equivalent to um, Microsoft's Copilot and Bing Chat, where Google Bard AR now has the ability to understand YouTube videos and I'll leave that video down below if you want more information. So this is a very similar feature, as mentioned now, that's uh, making its way into Copilot, where you can now summarize or ask questions about a video that you are watching in Edge. And if we head to the Copilot in Edge, um, I did a similar search and query before posting of a video that I posted earlier today. And this is just a quick recap of that summary. And yeah, you can see it summarized my whole video for me, gives me a brief um, overview 
And then it gives me the highlights with the timestamps. So it's introduction, instant games feature, arcade tab, how to play instant games. So we get a nice breakdown and a video understanding and question and answers uh, that you can now um, ask uh, Copilot in Edge to actually now summarize or ask questions about a video that you are watching in Edge. So obviously Microsoft playing a little bit of catch up here with BARD. But nonetheless, um, I actually found this quite an interesting feature and I actually think it would be helpful to a lot of users, especially if you are watching YouTube and you just want a quick overview of a video. As an example, if you are um, a student or are undertaking a topic or a tutorial using a video. So that's the five new features that have rolled out now and are starting to roll out and will be coming to Copilot over the next coming weeks, five in total. And this was announced by Microsoft a day or so ago on the 5th of December 2023. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.